Anywho, anyhow, how I was explaining to you the like issues. It's like on Netflix, see the fact that it's like a pernicious little stealthy worm. Netflix is like Janice and Jambres into Timothy Three, you guys. Hey, it worms its way into the lives of weak willed women. But instead of weak willed women, it's weak willed audiences. It's weak willed clients. Yeah, what is this like viewers? Thank you. People that don't have enough self control to, you know, nip it in the bud. Like if anything causes you to send gouge out your eye, cut off your hand. And you know what? Some of these days, sometimes I be like that girl. I done it too. I lingered all the way to last season, even though it grieved me a whole bunch by season five. I was dying inside. By season five, the Holy Spirit was screaming I was grieving him. By season five, I was basically an unbeliever. But I just pushed on right ahead to get to season 11. Because, goodness, I want to know what going to happen to Rick and the Walking Dead. I just want to know. You know? I mean, it started out all right. But oh, oh God, forgive me. The amount of deliverance, self-deliverance you have to do after setting out a wicked show on Netflix that started out good is worth the while for you to nip it in the bud in the seventh episode of season one when there are 12 episodes in season one and there's still three more seasons. But I struggled. And to this day, I literally still have an issue. I should essentially just kind of get rid of Netflix on my computer. I should. But you know what? Like, I don't know. Sometimes I'm so depressed that I can't watch Christian content because I'm so disillusioned and disquieted and keep on hearing them saying, Christ is coming. The rapture is happening. Guys, just hold on. It's the last days. And I'm so exhausted to hold on that I end up just kind of like distracting my attention from all that talk with like Netflix content. I try to keep it light, but it's hard to stay light with modern day entertainment industry that's like Satan, stealthy, pernicious, dark. Out all right, like I said, a married man that pursues a single woman without a wedding ring on, like keeps her deceived into thinking he's single, and then one day you find out the dude is like tied to some other female. Okay, and it becomes harder to let go then. So, as a result of Netflix being that gangster married man, uh, I have you know, uh, had this like strategy where I tell myself I, that I will not start the story, but every so often I don't finish a series on Netflix, every so often I don't finish an episode, every so often I don't finish like an entire, like you know, multi series very interesting initially thing that is going on on Netflix because they start to in like fuse all these agendas that are very rough to take in your stride, like seriously rough, like. I can take zombie movies. I don't know. Some people might be thinking it's a little bit dark, but it speaks about what's going to come. So you see, there's going to be zombies walking this earth. So I can take things like The Walking Dead and what have you. Uh, I can also take shows that are just like neutral, like, you know, uh, doctors doing their jobs or lawyers doing their jobs or whatever. Just a, a show about a person's life. But yeah, sometimes they in, like infiltrate. Like it doesn't have to be Fifty Shades of Grey to stumble you. They, they infiltrate in to innocent shows like a nasty agenda it happened recently with me and i still watched all the way up until season four even though by the time season three came i was so grieved like i struggle like any christian word with good doctor good doctor starts out really great this autistic doctor has the special talent and you love it because no profanity rarely anyway and and no no uh, sex no you know funny little things that people do all up in your girl huffing and puffing so I was like oh here's a nice little show that I can watch I'm dooting outside of it I mean watching unbelievers is not always stumbling you guys and then it got to season three and they started to just bring all of these agendas who and I was just like oh what's going on you know and they low key kind of trying to hint that it's okay for boys to like be girls and girls to be boys they had in season is it three or four a man that had a pregnancy that he was carrying to term because he was a trans woman or whatever. Was it a trans man? I don't know what goes what way there. Don't care to find out. Um, and this dude was born a chick, basically. Uh, started to transition, took hormones and everything. Got his breast a mastectomy or whatever removed. And all that, yeah, basically he was just walking around as a dude. And he had a boyfriend, a husband or whatever, that, you know, like he was engaged with sexual, in, re in sexual relations with, and he was having vaginal sex with him or her. And she, he, she fell pregnant. And so it was like this LGBTQIA++ woke agenda that they're trying to push that men can fall pregnant. You know how 
Who's that chick in the United States? AOC, Alexandria or Ocasio Cortez. Literally, it doesn't matter. And like, it literally doesn't matter what her name actually is. It's like Yuval Harar Hooray. As long as Ndivela is that dude, we we try not to even know the name. Mm-hmm. Uh, goes and calls women birthing persons or people, uh, menstruating menstruating people. Whoa! So like, it's woman. It's so much easier to say that. Yeah, that AOC agenda that they're pushing down everybody's throat where women uh, or men are called I don't know what they call men but they call women birthing per like pregnant women they call them birthing persons yeah that that AOC agenda it like found its way it wormed its ugly head reared its ugly head in good doctor where they literally like introduced us to a birthing person it was a man a trans male or a trans female I don't know which, which way it goes a dude that was born a female that fell pregnant um, uh, mistakenly because he stopped taking his hormones for a season and now it was like this is how you can have a man fall pregnant this is like the movie junior all over again with is it a van damme or gentle or whatever yeah it was funny in the days of that movie because they were not yet like shoving that agenda down our throats but now we realize people are actually trying to make it a reality that a man can fall pregnant so yeah we understood it as fiction in that movie uh but it was fact in this like medical show that is actually that is effectively displaying factual things that happen in the er or in real waking life and they are saying this is how you make a man pregnant and so pushing the woke agenda so when a man fell pregnant in the good doctor i was like what am i still doing watching what am i doing i need to get out 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 (laughs) but i pushed all the way up until the end of season four which was the last one I did that, so uh, I got grieved all the way up until the end, but they hooked me with this autistic, excellent doctor, you know, teaching me a thing or two about autism and that is not really like, you know, a life halting like condition. Um, Yeah, I learned quite a lot about autism, thanks to good doctor, it's made me a lot more, you know, like tolerant if not tolerant the, i think the better word is just trained on how to deal with autistic people should i meet them so that's the that's the thing that you take away the baby that you take away but then the rest of the show was just like this bath water and i'm like yeah yeah but i watched it all the way to the end but that's only because good talk doctor was stealthy it infiltrated the satanic agenda in season three only uh season one and two were pretty good like pretty good it's on see it's on season three where they got awry but they literally forced you to finish it to the end or at least if you have no self-control like Arabo didn't it is our self-control you will take it to the end and be grieved and just like die a little bit inside so because of that issue with netflix sometimes every so often i i just nip a show in the bud if it looks like it's about to go some strange direction in like season five of uh not season five sorry but episode one of season five i nip i nip i nip i nip in the bud i nip in the bud i nip in the bud another one that also is like that is orphan black this like cloning show starts out sort of kind of i can take it and then it just gets like ramps up into gangstrosity and i watched it all the way up until the end like yeah well yeah because you know girl struggling with self-control but every so often girl exercises self-control and walks away so when then i have got all of orphan black or offline on on netflix which i can't get because i've got a desktop for crying out loud and netflix is only available on my desktop not on my cell phone because then i'd have to get a new subscription for that yeah if i were to get like the all of the like or maybe all of season one of good doctor offline or all of season one of orphan black offline if i were to get all of season whatever of whatever show offline on netflix or how to get the way or how to run christmas anything of that nature that you find on Netflix. sometimes you can as a christian decide i'm not doing this i'm sorry like what are you doing what are you trying to promulgate what are you trying to pontificate what are you trying to wreak havoc in our lives concerning like stop you just kind of have to like now stop in the dark and there's like crickets until the power comes back on then only can you download another season or then only can you watch another season another show of something else on netflix because you have ditched good doctor and the same thing is also true then of um youtube content sometimes you just don't want to finish watching it and so you are you like you sit around in in cricket mode until the power has been restored so that's how our government is like ah! with their tongue out 
laughing at us who are forced to watch Good Doctor all the way up until the end of season four or Orphan Black or any other such show that has made me start out all right with it and then decide later on that <laughs> I'm twitching. <laughs> I can't take it. It happens across all of these shows, even the ones that are just for kids. That is how evil this world is. Everything is just dirty. And my country has told me, you're going to watch the dirty stuff until we bring back power. And I'm like, I'm sorry, no, I'm not doing it uh, 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 anymore because uh, we got solar power. But that's not something to pride yourself with. Why? Because when you're the only person that has reprieve in a country, you on that day are living like the elite in the Hunger Games. You're living like the elite in the Squid Game. You're living like the elite in a rather otherwise dystopian show. Uh, people who have got privileges and much, muchness uh, in comparison to everybody else on the ground. And that's just not what God is trying to do with the church. Okay. If everybody is not okay, then I guess you as a Christian ought not to be okay. So even though my mom has gotten solar panels, I will never be okay with the fact that the whole country is in the dark. Next part.